Hi guys, it's Angry Admin here. And if you see my face is growing, growing. And this is for Movember. And um, check the website for Movember. It's a cancer month awareness for the prostate cancer. And we are raising money by growing the mustaches and the beard as well. My wife doesn't like it, but we see how far I can go with, with that. Anyway, um, that was a that was off topic. Um, if you watch my latest video, which was about VROPS 8.6, uh, you could see that I mentioned over there the automation section, which is pretty cool. But there was one particular thing which I pointed out, and it was snapshot uh, deletion process. And the snapshot was seven days old, and I could not uh, get it less than that. And thanks to my friends from the Twitter, uh, Matt Bradford and Brock Peterson, uh, thank you lads and um, they point me out to solution for that problem uh, this is pluto say hello pluto yours pluto is six months old beagle and uh, he has a friend rocky rocky is sleeping now but he loves to be on the hands um, anyway, go back. Um, so, thanks to the lads, I know how to change that value now, and I will show you how to do it. It's very easy, but it's very needed feature. So, let's start. I just logged to the VROPS, uh, and as you remember from my previous video, I had an issue with scheduling job for snapshot deletion as I couldn't go less than seven days. And if I put like a three or five, it didn't, it didn't change. And that was a problem, but how to solve it is very easy. We're going to the optimize and reclaim. And in reclaim section, we have settings and if you go to settings, we can see that we can manipulate those values for all of them. So power of VMs, idle VMs, snapshot and orphaned disks. So for my for my environment, the three days is enough. So I just change this to three as a default value and I would save it. Now, once it's saved, I can go back to automation center and Let's add the job. Let's see how it works. So let's choose delete old snapshot. And as you can see, the default value now is three. I can go more, I can go down, but the three is the value. And let's give a name. You can put the description if you want, that's optional. But then once we're happy, we click next and as you can see I have a two data centers now if I double click on data center it will be moved on the right hand side and in this stage my job includes all VMs from that data center from all clusters but if we want to be more specific we can choose group of VMs or just one particular VM and let's say let's do NSX VM and in this stage once I put this criteria I will have only one VM which will be which this action will be applied to but if I remove it then in the preview I can see that all VMs are included in that scope so let's leave all of them and we click next and now we can schedule our job so i want that job to be run daily now we can choose the time i will choose my time which is gmt once a day and the time would be midnight and i will i want to run this forever so this is my settings and it will start from today midnight create and we can see that every day at midnight the job will be run and will delete all the snapshots 
if you want to change that job, if you click on the job, we can see that we can disable all recurrences. So if you click that one, we disable. No recurrences will happen. And uh, if we want to go back and enable them, we just click on that job again and we do enable all recurrences. Now we have a report. Of course, nothing was run yet. We have a history, no history, and we have a jobs. If we want to delete that job, we cannot do it from here because there's no option to delete. There's nothing clicking. If we click edit, we can only edit or update that job, or we cannot delete it. So if we want to delete that job, we have to go to jobs, click on it, and click delete the job. And that's how it's done. All right, guys, I hope you learned something new. I think this is very needed feature and this is a very interesting feature. And I hope I will see more automation in the next releases. And if you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and share it. Click on the like button and notification bell. Uh, read my blog at angrysysops.com and let's talk over the Twitter. Uh, my handler is at angrysysops. See you guys in the next video. Thanks.